When most new half-ton trucks are introduced, they usually sport some extra towing and payload capacity. But it's rare that a new truck is revealed and it begs to tow an RV to new adventures. The new 2021 Ford F-150 is that truck. And here's the countdown through the top seven features that make this truck the new benchmark for RVers. Number seven, more useful cab storage. Ford has tricked out the F-150 with storage space in the glove box and extra storage in the center console and in the door panels. Most importantly is the new lockable storage under the rear seat without having to give up the flat loading space. What's more, in a stroke of brilliance, the engineers at Ford allowed the shifter to fold out of the way. A folding work table then opens and you can get to work on your laptop or use it to eat your takeout. It may sound like an extra complicated way of getting a usable flat surface, but it does mean that we get to keep our traditional shifter without having to switch to a button or dial shifter, which is now the new normal in other trucks. Number six is great software. Trailer Reverse Guidance switches the dash touchscreen to a reverse camera view to show you where your trailer is headed. Folks who don't tow very often will make use of Pro Trailer Backup Assist, which is a dial on the dash that you can use to intuitively change trailer direction. Turn the knob right and the trailer goes right. Turn it to the left and the trailer goes left. A new class exclusive feature is hands-free driver assist, which lets you relax your arms and legs on long drives. While some of us are still very leery of any sort of technology that encourages semi-autonomous driving, Ford's system is a more cautious approach. First of all, it only works on divided highways, and there's roughly about 100,000 miles in Canada and the US. The cautious part is, it uses an infrared camera focused on the driver's face, which monitors head position and eye gaze, and it works even when the driver's wearing sunglasses and a mask. Drivers are then notified by prompts on the instrument cluster when they need to pay closer attention or resume control of the truck. Software that you can see and feel comes in the form of Ford's new SYNC 4. I can see some of your eyes glaze over and I can't blame you, but some of the changes will make features you use even easier to use. We like the new voice recognition software, which will do a much better job of figuring out what we are saying and then get it done. Things like hands-free voice control for answering the phone and dialing the phone, uh, changing your music and more. Another big thing for us is an improved navigation system. Most vehicle navigation systems finish a poor second to Google Maps. But Ford says their new system will have real-time traffic, construction and road conditions, along with enhanced points of interest information like hours of operation, user reviews, uh, real-time fuel pricing and real-time weather. We're looking forward to seeing it in action. The Ford Pass app has been enhanced again. Using the power of our phones, we can remote start, lock unlock doors, adjust climate controls, locate where you parked your truck, control zone lighting, do a trailer light check, know if your trailer is being stolen, collect Ford Pass reward points, get peace of mind with 911 assist, which automatically alerts emergency responders in the event of a crash, and a lot more. And it's complimentary on select model years. And that's one less monthly subscription fee in our lives. Number five, it's more aerodynamic. Although it's only a 3% improvement, this is the most aerodynamic Ford F-150. It's got active grille shutters, which automatically close at cruising speed. Ford has also implemented an active air dam. We like it because it will retract 100% for off-road terrain, like pulling or backing into a rough site. This will probably be the only air dam we haven't torn off on back roads. It automatically drops three quarters of an inch for slow cruising and fully deploys at 60 kilometers an hour, 40 miles per hour for better fuel economy. Number four is a first class flight. Sometimes we need to catnap en route to the destination. If your RV has slides, there's a good chance you can't easily reach your bed. So here's a feature we love driver and passenger seats that fold flat like first class seats on a transatlantic flight. Tired and need a 15 minute break? 
recline 180 degrees and get some shut eye. Your passenger gets the same first class treatment, which is especially helpful if that person is also your co-pilot. Number three, the best tailgate in the industry for RVing. A lot of folks use their tailgates as workbenches while camping. And with this in mind, Ford has made the tailgate even better. There's an integrated ruler, cup and pen holders, and a spot to hold your mobile device. C-clamp pockets are now built into the tailgate so you can secure material for cutting and drilling. And there are additional cleats in the gate to use as tie downs as well as bottle openers. The C-clamp pockets are a clever idea and we are sure it will be useful for campsite or trail side work and repairs. Number two is ProPower On Board. It's a fully integrated generator called ProPower On Board. Now purchasing a generator is an added expense in an RV. And depending on the RV, the RV might not actually have space allocated, which means you have to haul it into the truck bed and carry some extra fuel as well. With ProPower On Board, the generator is built into the truck and doesn't take up any space in the bed which is especially handy when you already have a full load of gear. Ford offers three generators providing 2 to 7.2 kilowatts of power. You decide if you need enough to power lights, music, and a mini fridge for a tailgate party, or enough for a small crew to frame a house. We like that it's available across all trim levels, so you don't have to shell out cash in an upper trim level that has features you don't need in order to get the generator. The 2 kilowatt generator is available on the 2.7 liter and 3.5 liter EcoBoost as well as the 5 liter V8 engine. The 2.4 kilowatt is standard with all PowerBoost hybrid trucks with the 7.2 kilowatt generator being the optional upgrade. ProPower on board is not available with the 3.3 base gas engine or the 3.0 PowerStroke diesel. And the number one reason on our top seven is the hybrid engine. The new kit on the block is a 3.5 liter PowerBoost V6 hybrid, which is available on all Super Crew models from the XL trim level and on up. Ford says it's their fourth generation hybrid technology optimized for truck customers. It's the 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6 engine, a 35 kilowatt, about 47 horsepower, electric motor integrated into a 10 speed transmission, and a compact 1.5 kilowatt per hour liquid cooled lithium ion battery. The battery is tucked under the load floor between the frame rails, so Ford says PowerBoost equipped trucks will have the same cabin and cargo space as all the other Super Crew trucks. The system uses 35 kilowatt electric motor and regenerative braking energy capture to recharge the battery. While Ford isn't actually telling us exactly what the torque and horsepower numbers are, they promise they are targeted to be the highest of any light duty truck. The 2020 3.5 liter EcoBoost cranks out 375 horsepower and 470 pound feet of torque. They also say the power boost will have a minimum 12,000 pound max tow. And as good as this is, the 2020 F-150 XL Super Crew in a 4x2 with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost and a max tow package is able to drag around almost 13,200 pounds. So a max tow estimate of 12,000 pounds sounds a little light. Ford also hasn't revealed the fuel economy numbers for the power boost but they have said it should get over 700 miles on a single tank. Since the tank is 30.6 gallons, we're looking at a fuel economy rating of better than 22.9 miles per gallon, probably in a 4x2 on the highway. Not as good as the regular 3.5 liter EcoBoost at 25 miles per gallon on the highway, but it's still comparable. The upside is that the extra torque and horsepower in the hybrid power boost should improve fuel economy over the existing 3.5 while we're using it to tow. Official EPA numbers are coming later this year. The new F-150 will be rolling into driveways this fall. We've added some links below with the complete technical specs as well as the layout of the new power boost system. What new features can you see yourself using? And what's your take on the hands-free driver assist? Good, great, or dangerous? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, share it. Smash that like button. Let us know what you want to see reviewed. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're the first to be notified when a new video comes out. Until next time, 
stay safe, and we'll see you in the great outdoors.